it was only when I was taking pictures for this video that I realized even though I had written a list I had missed a few items. I don't know what it is. I'm not even able to read anymore. Hi everyone, welcome back to Linda Libra Luca. You may have noticed I stopped uploading favorites or favorites and new ins just because I felt like there was so much pressure and I didn't like that many new things, so I decided to wait until I had a huge list. Now, this list is very huge, so <laughs> I'm not sure if I have the right rhythm yet, but let's jump right in. I'm going to start with skincare, and this one is an oldie, but I think I have mentioned it in the favorites on here. This is by Sunday Riley, a brand that I really enjoy, and it's the Ceramic Slip Clay Cleanser. It is, of course, clay cleanser. It is not as stripping as some out there. It's not the most gentle though, but for my combination oily skin, using it three to four times a week in the mornings really helps keep impurities at bay. Another cleanser, this time a new one. This is the Abolian Korean Skin Therapy Solid Cleansing Oil. And I really enjoy that. It will not be my all-time favorite just because of the scent. It's just, yeah, it's pretty intense the scent, quite floral I'd say, but you only need a tiny amount and this feels like a balm, turns into an oil and rinses very well. It is a first cleanse, it does remove makeup, even waterproof makeup, it doesn't sting my eyes, doesn't leave a film on my eyes, which is great because I wear contacts. Then by Institutum. This is the triple effect peel and if you know me you know I like my peels, my acids to yeah, keep um, texture at bay, to keep pimples at bay and to keep my skin glowing. This one contains um, salicylic acid as a chemical um, exfoliant. It contains physical exfoliants like a microcellulose, this thing that piles up which is very very gentle and it contains papain. You could apply it um, um, to dry skin for a really intense massage but uh, that's too intense for me. I apply it to wet skin and just gently massage it in, leave it sit for 10 minutes and then rinse it. Or if your skin is really sensitive you could apply that to just your skin without scrubbing. Let the chemical and the papain enzymes do the exfoliation without utilizing the physical scrubs. What I think uh, sets this one apart from other triple um, peels I have tried is that the main acid is salicylic acid. And yeah, despite the makeup you will be able to see I still suffer from acne despite being 38. Uh, so uh, something with salicylic acid is highly welcome and um, I use it twice a week um, at max. I wouldn't recommend you use it more often. This one is by Claire's and it's the freshly juiced vitamin E mask. It contains a lot of vitamin E which is hydrating and an antioxidant. That was my husband. Um, which contain, It contains a lot of vitamin E, niacinamide, adenosine, um, which I really enjoy. It is plumping, it's hydrating, it's brightening. I use it about twice a week. I know that people with dry skin can get away using it as a moisturizer, but for me it's great for repairing, replenishing my skin and just smoothing the overall experience. And I use it as an overnight sleeping mask. That skincare done, let's move on to makeup and I actually have quite a few things to show you. First off is uh, this palette, yeah shock horror I know a palette, it's the Pixie Plus It's Judy Time palette and I did a full on review on the blog and in a video. It is really really buttery so the shades are prone to breaking, this one up there, I don't know if you can see it, yeah. It lost an edge. There's a ton of fallout, especially when you work with the mattes, but it's all worth it because they are super blendable and they're really warm. But I like that for this time of year and I have been wearing it like today with just a softer look. I did a full on smoky eye. I did an Indian summer look with this and I actually reach for it almost every day. So great pick. If I haven't been wearing something from this palette, I had a quite unusual combination for me, which combined the Kiko Milano eyeshadow stick color up length lasting in 24, which was limited edition. It's a brown eyeshadow stick, not that outstanding, but I paired it with a green liner. And usually I just wear black as a liner. And this one is the Tinted Lash Enhancer Line and Grow in the color Olive. And it's just 
a great jewel toned green, pretty dark, and I like it as a contrast to the brown. For my face, oh, let's do this one first. Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I know, incredibly late to the party. It was sitting in my makeup stash completely unopened. It might be a little dark too for me in winter, but when I apply it and it has set, it keeps my pimples covered the whole day. And that's a first for me. I really enjoy it. It stays put through the whole work day. It dries down matte, it doesn't cake on me, and it has medium to high coverage, which for me, high coverage means I could cover a tattoo if I had one. Um, I don't think that would do that, but it's a solid medium coverage that stays put all day. I haven't tried it under my eyes though, so I can't say if it is prone to creasing. If you have more information on that, please leave it in the description box because it's just too dark for under my eyes. To set everything in place, I have been reaching a lot for the Guerlain Meteorites. And yeah, I have this question now. These um, pearls don't get stuck in your brush, but if you're th too enthusiastic, you might spill them all over the floor. And they just leave a soft focus filter on my face. They're not mattifying, but they are not dewy either. Just apply them and they are, yeah, my face looks radiant and well slept, which is totally only powder. For blush, I have been reaching for neutral tones like this one, and this is by MAC. It's one from their Pro Longwear blushes, and it's called All Day Blush. And as you can see, it's just a subtle, a little warmer, brownish tone, which I like to wear a lot in the fall. And yeah, I have already hit pan on it because it really stays put for at least eight hours with the, without fading, which is great for work. To lock everything in, I have been testing the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is amazing stuff. Let me tell you, the one thing that I don't understand is why are there two cups? But not complaining because once I spray that one, <coughs> and it has set, my makeup stays put the whole day. Lips, and I feel like I'm speeding through this, so bear with me, please stay with me. Um, I actually own a lot of plum and violet shades, which I like, but this season I crave something more, yeah, brownish, um, brown red, something like this. <laughs> I have nothing in my collection, which is uh, pretty unbelievable because my lipstick collection is huge, but I solved the problem not with buying more lipsticks, which I Totally could have seen myself do, but we're pairing it with a lip liner. This one is by Essence, it's the long lasting lip liner, and I have five, five of them because they are only um, a euro. And this is a twist up liner and a really, really nice shade of brown that stays put on my lips. And when I pair it with a lipstick like this one, this is by Astor, and I'm wearing it today, it gives the whole thing a lot more brown aspect than it's called. Fiction Red and gives me this perfect autumnal color. If I wasn't in the mood to mix, uh, mix and match, I went for the Guerlain Kiss Kiss lipstick in Crazy Nude. And despite call it being called Crazy Nude, it's just a lovely rosewood shade. I have been asked whether I... This is one of the best matte lipsticks. I haven't tried many, but yeah, it's... I think average in staying power for a matte lipstick and it's not drying but totally not one of the most comfortable lipsticks I own so I think if you own a lot of matte lipsticks you don't need to rush and pick up this one but the shade, the golden packaging and the color are just one of my favorites for this time of year. Then nail polish. I received three by Fabi. Fabi is a nail polish brand that I hadn't heard of and they sent me a few autumnal shades and out of the three uh, I have been wearing mostly, of course my nails are bare now, but sorry, just couldn't be bothered. This one is called My Darkness and it's just blue. This season I just found myself reaching for this really deep navy a lot. Even did wear it to the office risk being called an emo kid or something like that. Well, no one will call me a kid anymore. And then I know my hair is way beyond saving and I need to get my roots done and I need to go to the hairdressers because I haven't been for 
oh gosh, more than eight months now, but I have a new brush and there's hair in it, which is totally gross, I'm sorry. I have a new brush. If you know me, you know I've been faithful to my Tangle Teaser and I still am, but this is a boar bristle brush. And yeah, if I just use it after I brush my hair, it helps distribute the natural oils and help give my hair a lovely sheen, which is something that I, as a bleached blonde, struggle a lot with. And I feel like ever since I started using it, my hair looks and feels a lot healthier. So not sure if I'm going to ruin that by getting it bleached again or if I should maybe go for my natural color. Thoughts? Okay, that's it. I feel like it's quite a lot. I hope I wasn't too boring. Please subscribe so you don't miss any further videos. I upload on Sundays and on Wednesdays, but on Wednesdays these are vlogs, so insights in my not so exciting daily life. But yeah, you're welcome to follow along. Please like if you enjoyed this video and yeah, I'm going to see you all very soon with another one. Bye!